This is my 13 Reasons Why Season 2 review, and frankly, I am disgusted. And in this video, I'm gonna go on a pretty big rant that might lose me some subscribers, but it's worth it because it's definitely something that we need to address right now. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today's problem is the mental health stigma, but probably in a way that you're not really used to. So do me a huge favor. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. Please share this video because I'm gonna talk about some stuff that a lot of people really need to hear. I am really disgusted right now and it's not even because of the show, which might be surprising. My disgust is actually from the people who are out raged all over social media. First off, first off, let me make it very clear. I know this show is fictional, okay? But really, I am so sad and heartbroken to think that people would lack such empathy to somebody, especially a teenager who took their own life, all right? Let's read some of the tweets that I found about Hannah and 13 Reasons Why. You wanna know why I hate 13 Reasons Why so much? Well, let me explain. One, it glorifies suicide. Two, it glorifies depression. Three, it makes suicide an option. Four, Hannah wasn't depressed. She was a victim who never looked for help and makes people think that's what you should do. Hannah did not suffer from mental illness. She suffered from an inability to accept responsibility, self-centeredness, and stupidity. As someone with bipolar disorder and clinical depression, the constant suggestions that she did is ridiculous. Ridiculous. 13 Reasons Why is an entertaining show, but Hannah Baker was not depressed. She was just used to having a perfect life and then suddenly things started falling out from under her. She didn't reach out for help. That is not depression. There is a massive, a massive stigma out there about mental illness, and during times like this, we need to come together. We need to come together, be there for each other, but for some reason that is beyond me, people are turning mental illness into some kind of insane competition. Like, are you serious right now? And the fact that anybody would say that a rape victim has princess syndrome makes me want to vomit. The problem is, is that we've been brainwashed into believing that the only reason, the only reason that you can have depression is if you have a chemical imbalance. Like, what? This is what troubles me. This is why I have this channel and tell you guys to share my videos, because I'm trying to educate people, all right? Like, you need to understand, yes, while there is definitely a, a genetic component, there is a possibility of neurotransmitter imbalances like serotonin, dopamine, endorphins and things like that, that is very, very, very possible. But most people with depression suffer from depression because of life circumstances, not just because of the chemicals being imbalanced in their head. Why do you think depression and suicide rates go up every time we have a recession in this country? Do you think that just because people lost their jobs, now all of a sudden they have a chemical imbalance? No, it's because of life circumstances, all right? Now, let's see what the Center for Diseases and control has to say about this rather than people on the internet who believe that they know everything there is to know about mental illness. So this is actually taken from a CDC study, all right? Key findings, data from the National and Nutritional Examination Survey. During 2013 to 2016, 8.1% of American adults aged 20 and over had depression in a given two week period. Women, 10.4% were almost twice as likely as were men, 5.5% to have had depression. Depression was lower among non-Hispanic Asian adults compared with Hispanic, non-Hispanic black, or non-Hispanic white adults. The prevalence of depression decreased as family income levels increased. About 80% of adults with depression reported at least some difficulty with work, home, and social activities because of their depression. From 2007 to 2008 to 2015 to 2016, the percentage of American adults with depression did not change significantly over time. So take a step back, just real quick, just step back and let's think about this logically, okay? Based on those findings from this research, do you really think 
Do you really think while 8.1% of all Americans struggle with depression is purely due to a chemical imbalance? Like, come on, people, get it together. And most of the people out there just randomly making it rain their opinions on the internet have never even opened up this beautiful book right here, the DSM-5, what psychiatrists and doctors and therapists use to diagnose mental illness. There is nowhere in any form of depression in this book does it say that we're gonna measure the chemical imbalances in your head. No, it has a variety of other symptoms, all right? Everybody just really, 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 really needs to wake up. Like I mentioned, there's such a stigma out there. It pains me, it pains me to think that people are like, you're not depressed, I'm depressed, let me tell you what depression really looks like. Like, come on, people. Have a little empathy, some compassion. Like, show some people some love. Like I said, I know this show is fictional, but I, I just know, I know for a fact, because I know people like this who are busy having this mental illness competition rather than banding together and supporting one another, all right? So do me a favor, show each other some love, and let's overcome this thing together, all right? And again, like I said, please share this video. It is a very important video. I don't even care if you watch 13 Reasons Why. I wanted to address this big issue that we have within the quote unquote mental health advocacy space. Like, come on, come on now, you guys. All right, but anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If I didn't make you too upset, Make sure you click that little round subscribe button because I make a ton of videos about mental health. But anyways, if you wanna check out some other videos on the channel, you can click or tap right there, all right? But anyways, thanks so much for watching and make sure you are not increasing the stigma and I'll see you next time.